Hello everyone. Good evening. I'm Steve from You Can English Tutoring, a pioneer institution that has been helping more than 12,000 students to achieve their desired scores in OET, IELTS, and PTE academic examinations since 2008. In this video, I'm going to explain the reasons why you should not practice OET speaking role play conversation with another healthcare professionals of same occupation and with whom you are highly recommended to practice the same. Before we jump on to this video, I would like to provide a gentle reminder in regards to the membership programs that I offer on my YouTube channel. There are three membership packages that you, uh, that you can choose. Uh, the first one is the silver membership, which can help you to get all the members only videos. It is charged at just $4.99, which is going to be approximately 250 to 300 Indian rupees per month. If you wish to get more benefits, you can become a gold member. In addition to the access to the members only videos, you will be able to receive 10 sets of materials for your OET, ILTS, or PTE academic examination, with which you must be able to get more benefits you know, from the channel. If you would like to get the highest benefits from my channel, you can become a platinum member by paying $79.99, which is going to be approximately 4,000 to 4,100 Indian rupees per month. If you become a gold member, you are going to pay approximately $14.99, which is going to be um, 750 to 800 Indian rupees. Uh, but if you become a platinum member, you can get the maximum benefits because I'm going to help you to prepare for two um, section-wise tests. I mean, I'm going to help you to um, get uh, two speaking, two listening, two reading, and two writing mock tests. I'm going to assist you on how you can prepare these examinations so that you can get your design scores in your first attempt itself. Okay, let's start the video now. Okay, you may be puzzled why I have been recommending you not to practice your OET speaking role play conversation with another healthcare professionals of the same occupation. Well, there are various solid yet proven reasons why I don't recommend this strategy. Okay, you may be preparing well for the OET examination. However, you may find it really challenging and tedious. Particularly, you know, speaking subtest of the OET academic examination is complicated due to a range of issues. Okay, it could be anything, all right? Many will be surprised to hear what I'm going to recommend now. Do not practice OET speaking role play with the others of the same occupation as yours, okay? This means, if you are a nurse, you should not have the role play conversation with another nurse. It is not good. I will tell you why this is not recommended. First, the first reason is that the interlocutor with whom you are going to have the real role play conversation in the OET examination is a member of the community and a non-medical professional with no medical knowledge at all. However, when you practice role play conversation with another healthcare professionals of the same occupation, it will not reflect the same environment as that of the real OET exam. That's the first and the foremost reason you need to be aware of. All right. What would be the second reason? What's going to happen? Okay. Usually, the interlocutor in the real OET speaking subtest will ask you to describe the medical terms whenever you use them. Nevertheless, when you practice a role play with another healthcare professional of the same trade, you will less likely be asked to define the medical terms since the interlocutor is aware of those terms. So it is our human nature with which the interlocutor may not be able to ask you the questions because they are already aware of those terms. Okay, what would be the third reason? The interlocutors from the community would be able to do justice to the tasks given to them in their role play card. What does that mean? Well, for instance, emotions, disagreements, 
and other demanding tasks can be appropriately carried out by an interlocutor of a non-medical background. However, in place of an interlocutor, people of the same profession as yours cannot address these requirements due to their kind nature and tolerance. As you have been working in a range of stressful settings, you might have been become very kind and compassionate to deal with the uh, people of various um, backgrounds. And as a result, it is highly recommended not to practice with another professional of the same occupation. Okay. Now, you may naturally ask me a question. If you cannot practice with another person of the same occupation, with whom you can practice? All right, I have got an answer as well for you. The best people to practice role play conversations with are your friends, relatives, and family members who are non medical professionals. This helps you to prepare for the worst situations in the real OET examination so that your chance of passing the examination is increased dramatically. If you continuously practice with the non medical professionals, you won't be shocked in the real OET examination. However, I understand that this cannot be achieved always. If this is not achievable, in the worst case, I would recommend you to practice with the medical professionals from different trades. What does that mean? Well, if you are a nurse, in the worst case, I would recommend you to have a role play conversation with a pharmacist or with a physiotherapist or with a dentist or someone else. The reason behind it is that they will not know so many medical terms that are falling under the nursing category. And as a result, they may tend to ask you the questions to describe. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you are looking for a proven course that can help you out to ace your OET, ILTS and PT examination in one attempt itself, please contact me at steve at youcanenglishtutoring.com or at plus six one four six eight four eight zero eight double seven, which is my mobile as well as WhatsApp number. In return, you will get the free assessment of your first letter and first role play conversation to help you find your weak areas and address them using the effective strategies I'm gonna teach you. If you find this video helpful, please like it and share it with your friends, colleagues, and relatives. You can also share this video with your WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Should you have comments to improve the quality of my videos and my YouTube channel, please do not hesitate to write them in the comment section. If you haven't been subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to it now if you find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really appreciate your time. Have a good day. Bye.